Does it change? This time we're going to actually try to change a tire which has air tube inside on an adventure bike wheel. It's from KTM 790 Adventure and uh, uh, we're going to put back uh, street tires. Uh, I used air tube before because you can go lower pressure uh, for off-road and uh, now we're going to put back stock tires on it. So first step, uh, the valve out. Next step is to break the bead. Uh, for that, we will put the uh, slide the wheel support to be actually under the rim and under the tire, both of them. We have an um, uh, adapter that actually will center the wheel up to 32 millimeters. And uh, we're good to go. Before we start, uh, we will adjust that the beat breaker uh, functions so that it's actually on the side of the uh, tire, but not touching the rim because it might cause scratches, so we better uh, put it close to rim. Okay, give it a go. Okay, as this one had air tube, it's not uh, actually difficult to break the bead, but still, it has been on some time, so it takes a bit. Here we have the valve. We go more easy on it. And done from one side. Check again that the wheel support is in its place. And we go for the other side. And here we are. So next step is to put on the ratchet system. Uh, this one is quite a soft tire. When you are changing with either with a rim lock or with the air tube, then um, start changing right, install the tuck head right after the uh, valve or rim lock or tube. So basically a little bit Mm, after. Okay, now it's good. So, um, to install the tie iron, I will turn the uh, basically at, uh, I would say, like six o'clock here. So, uh, you can't use metal uh, pin for uh, spoked wheels because it would bend the spokes. So instead of that, uh, we have included in the package uh, a strap which we will put around the spokes. It goes under the base and around the spoke. Uh, it goes back again behind the wheel and then we will uh, put it on the strap. I really recommend to use a spoke that is most aligned with the direction of the strap. This way the pressure on the spokes is as minimum as possible. Uh, usually we do it roughly at let's say five or four o'clock if we look at on the wheel. I put a little bit bead grease here also on the tuck head so it um, moves smoother and you need a little less force here. We use the curved end of the tie iron. Uh, it goes between right on the uh, duck head, on the plastic part, not in contact with the rear. And as you always need the tire to make into drop center from opposite side, uh, we use the bead breaker for that. We pull it over and lock it under the hook here. We use the same tire lever, sorry, the um, operating lever. 
for the ratchet system. And here we go. And like we said, careful with the ball so it goes nicely over the ball. Okay. And now we have to get over the other side. Use the same curved end to get it over there. Now it's important to make sure it doesn't get stuck between the air tube. And I can feel it, it's not there. And we work around again. Okay, and here it comes. Now we have the ball nut on it, so and it's done. So we're ready to mount uh, the next tire. Always make sure you use plenty of bead grease to make it smooth. Uh, with a dry tire, uh, it doesn't go so easy. You might need to use a lot of excessive force. And when you need excessive force with rubber conda, it's always a moment to pause and uh, reflect a little bit. What might be the reason? And not having Beat grease is one of the most common reasons. Um, I'm going to leave the air tube also in this one. Uh, so we see the direction, which will go like this. Now, uh, there are different techniques to mount uh, it with air tube. Some people put the first side of the tire on and then uh, put through the, um, in between the tire, the um, air tube. Uh, I don't like it. I, my personal favorite is actually to... Uh, pull a little bit uh, out. I have uh, some air in the tube, so it's old form. And uh, I first uh, put my hand behind it and install the valve. Put it through the valve hole and the nut on it. Then I mount the whole tire together with the air tube. Uh, okay, first side can go up on really easy, especially with this. It went on by hands, as you saw. So then uh, I need to uh, make the one side go diagonally on the duck head. You can use tire lever there if needed. But I usually put some pressure with my hand so it stays in between and starts going. With very, very stiff sidewall tires, you need uh, uh, drop center tools so it makes it fall there. I've left the wall to last because it's where it least least uh, needs might touch the side of the tire okay that's it so the question adventure wheel with spokes and the air tube does it change
Yes, it does.